welcome back to my channel. I'm Juliana, thank you so much for tuning in. We do home decor on my channel. We do fashion, we do thrift, all of that together sometimes. But today I'm bringing you a review video for Backdrop Paint. I literally haven't seen any on YouTube and I want to start because I think that this brand is really cool. The colors that are curated are amazing. I really wanted to give a cool review of the paint and I haven't opened anything. I haven't painted anything. I'm gonna show you me painting. I'm gonna show you what the colors actually look like on the wall. So I also got their essentials kit and I can't remember what else I got, but I'll include everything on this video, the, the actual packaging that it comes in, everything that you wanna know about kind of backdrop, how they deliver to you, what their paints look like. I'm super excited, that's what we're doing today. Again, Backdrop Paint. I think it's actually Backdrop Home as their website, but it's just called Backdrop and I think I think this brand is just really cool. So I wanted to share, I wanted to kind of start the process of getting more home stuff on my channel because I did the whole move and then I kind of just stopped because you know, like there's like restrictions that are lifted. I have to work again. There's just a bunch of stuff happening, but I wanted to still remain consistent for y'all. So I have these boxes. So let's go ahead and just do a review of the product. I think it could be fun. Let me know what you think. Like if you like and subscribe if you wanna. I always forget nowadays, but yeah, like if you like and subscribe if you want to. Let's jump in. So these are all of the boxes that I have to open. The two over there are super light and then this one has all the paint in it, I'm assuming, because it's the heaviest box. So let's go ahead and unpack them. These boxes. Well, I can tell you the tape is so strong. <laughs> We've got you covered. Applies easily, easy wash, green certified, low odor and low vac. Amazing. And then this just contains kind of all of my order information. Okay, so we have this here. Ooh, okay, so we have this here to kind of keep everything compact, which I actually really like. And then as you see, all of the paints. So we have all the paints here. I'm just gonna pull, oh my God, they're so heavy, it's a gallon. The one critique I'll say before even starting is that they don't do like quart sizes. Cause like for my bathroom, I don't need a full gallon. So it would have been nice to have like a smaller size to choose from, even a half gal or a half gal, what? Even a half gallon would have been cool. This is, I'm your backdrop, Shakespeare pour. Oh yeah, so this is Mohab Gathering. This is the pink color that I will be using in my bathroom. It's described as standard finish one gallon, a neutral gray beige. And I just thought it would look really cute in my bathroom. Originally, I was going to go with, shit. What was I gonna go with? I don't know. I got a bunch of swatches. I'll show you the swatches. Actually, you saw one behind me earlier, but this is Mohawk Gathering. This is what I decided to go with. All right, the next color. Ooh, see, ooh, it's kind of damaged. So it kind of comes a little dented. I'm okay with that as long as the integrity of the product itself isn't damaged. That's not the best to see, but it happens. So this is After Hours. It's described as a soft charcoal black. And I got this for my office. I'm gonna be painting all four walls and the ceiling with this color. It's gonna be my office space. It's, I want it really moody because I work the best in kind of like moody lighting and like moody areas. So I really love this and I can't wait. These next two are both the white that I chose that will be going in my bedroom and my kitchen until I decide on like an accent wall color. I'm just gonna paint both this cool moon so it's just called a cool white so those are my paint colors and this is just kind of more of the packaging just kind of continues like that all right so we've got some of this i like to call this the hard soft paper oh really so they use this entire box just to package this one thing, I don't love that. I think that they could definitely kind of utilize smaller packaging and really kind of focus on the size of the item to make sure that they're not using too much cardboard. This is actually a handle extension for the essentials kit that I'm about to show you. More of the squinty paper. All right, so this is the essentials kit. Oh, I'm already disappointed. I thought that the tape that came in the essentials kit was the backdrop tape and it's not. So it comes on this pegboard, which I think is really cute. Let me go ahead and 
come up. You get a two inch kind of brush. You get a small roller, a big roller, a roll of their blue tape. And then beyond that, oh, oh my God. <laughs> And they have these paint stirs that come with them and it says my backdrop on them. And then they have these to kind of attach to your foam rollers. I wasn't aware that they came with two foam rollers, but that's cool. So this is nine inches and then this is four inches. It comes with these kind of removable slash reusable trays and then kind of the standard black tray that you use to pour paint into. So I was going to paint tomorrow morning, but then I got off of like sitting down all day because I work from home and I was like, you know what? I feel like painting. So we're gonna paint my office. This is the first room. And then if whatever I don't get done today or like if I have, if my battery dies, I will finish up in the morning. So we're gonna start with my office. We are painting this one a charcoal black and it's gonna be awesome. Basically, this is gonna be like an expediated paint and expediated makeover eventually that I'll have up because I'm working from home now and I need my office done. So let's get into it. We're using the backdrop paint color. Actually, I need to get my drop, <laughs> I need to get my drop cloth and stuff. So give me one moment while I get my drop cloth. All right, so I changed into this apron that I got off of Amazon, some jeans that I don't care about, a shirt that I don't care about. And I got this drop cloth from Amazon as well. I will have it linked down below. I'm gonna go ahead and put this down. Okay, so I've taped everything off, as you can see behind me. I used the paint in the backdrop kit, or not the paint, oh my God, of course I'm using the paint from the backdrop kit, duh. I'm using the tape from the backdrop kit. It was just the scotch blue, and I just cut it off of here. Oh my God, my scissors sat in the little thing. So now I'm gonna cut out the rest of the material, and then let's get painted, because we're about to lose some sunlight, so let's hurry this along. How long should I mix this for? I don't know, so we're gonna stop. Mm -hmm. That's usually a good indicator that I should stop doing something. Okay, so we're gonna pour. Oh my God. I'm getting paint everywhere. Oh my God. Okay, I'm glad I bought all this stuff because paint is literally everywhere. Okay, so I'm gonna paint the borders. My earring just fell into the paint. So I took the other one off. It was like the first fail. Oh my God, it couldn't have fell it. It couldn't have fallen out any earlier. Okay, okay. I washed it off in some hot water and it kind of got all the way off. Like it already had some like black speckles in it. So we good. All right, so now that that's done, I've got the roller coming. I forget what size this is. I think it's nine inches. No, it's, yeah, it's nine inches. So I have the nine inch roller, I have a little fuzzy buzzy. And then you just, I think, where do you squinch it on there? You squinch it? How you get to sh Yes, you squinch. Oh my God, it's so cute. So actually, let's go ahead and just put on the little extension thing that I bought. So I just twist it into here, I think. Yeah, cause this one's, yeah. So this end is smooth. So that's the end I'll be holding. And then you screw these together. And then I think you just screw it. Yeah, that's so nifty. You just screw it into the bottom of this and it extends the roller. Can you see that I'm losing light? Look at the difference between <laughs> wham bam. Bluji, I'm doing it. There's no going back. Pursuit of happiness, we fought for these ideals, we shouldn't settle for less. Enterprise, I'm at quote em. don't act surprised, you guys, cause I wrote them. How? And Hamilton forgets. Assume state debts. As to who that benefits, the very seat of government where Hamilton sits. Ooh, if the shoe fits, wear it. If New York's in debt, why should Virginia bear it? 
Uh, our debts are paid, I'm afraid. Don't tax the South, because we got it made in the shade. Thomas, that was a real nice declaration. Welcome to the present. We're running a real nation to join us or stay mellow doing whatever the hell it is you do in Monticello. If we assume the debts, the union gets a new line of credit, a financial diuretic. How do you not get it? I need the new medicine. How to go take your medicine. Then the national debt is in sitting there useless as two shits. Hey, turn around, bend over, I'll show you where my shoe fits. <laughs> When we were needy, we, made a we signed a treaty. We friends. Alrighty then, we are done with my office area. So like I said, I couldn't like paint this, that would be too crazy. And I couldn't paint like the borders, which is totally fine. I think it would look more like a void with those things, but honestly, like once everything else is in here, the desk, my accessories, the shelves, um, I don't think it'll even be that distracting. Like, plus I normally have this like open anyway. I guess I wouldn't when I'm working, but like it's just a white border basically to like what I had going on, but that's great. So I just have my bathroom and then like the white paint left and that's it, but that's for another day. I just, oh my God. This was actually really tiring, I'm not gonna lie, but I think I've been doing this for two hours because I got off work at six. It's now like, almost nine o'clock so i've been doing this in almost three hours um but i did paint the ceiling and i didn't really know like my plan of action i didn't really know what i was doing until i turned on the camera i don't know why i'm holding you down here that's super weird but yeah so it took me like two and a half three hours ish but i did two coats and i listened to hamilton and i got distracted so that's it mm. I'll be doing the bathroom and then just the white in my room, but I'll probably just show snippets of that because it's really not that dramatic. Um, but we'll see. I think I'm gonna go get a, like some fries or something because I'm gonna get fries and a shake because I'm gonna treat myself for doing this because I can. All right, so those are the items that I ordered. I will definitely show you guys some of these in action once I actually start painting. I'm not painting today, but I'm gonna attach like when I do paint because I actually have like a work call and other things to do today. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this backdrop review. I definitely would love to review kind of some you know, newer products that are kind of coming out to, I guess, eliminate the old way of doing things. Cause this paint kit is amazing. And I really wanted to find a, a way to get paint to me without me having to go to the store. And I just discovered Backdrop that they were already doing it. And I thought it was such a cool idea. The colors were exactly what I was looking for. So I just, I mean, it's not sponsored or anything. I just love, I just, I loved the kind of process of getting everything and I wanted to show kind of what my initial thoughts and my initial experience with the company is. Hopefully like you all get some idea of like what the company is about, what to expect when you get a package, kind of uh, maybe like uh, for me personally, I was expecting to have backdrop tape and not scotch tape, but you know, I just, I wanted to do a review for those reasons so that like people can see what the expectation is of a product. Yeah, I mean, those are my thoughts. I hope you all enjoyed. If you want more review videos like this from me, or if you want to just see me like review newer products, I'd love to do that. Just let me know. And yeah, let me know what your like favorite thing about this video was. If you liked it, if you like, <laughs> 
If you like, leave a like and subscribe if you wanna. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.